What's up, kids? It's sponsored by Super Clean today. You'll get uh, you some after the video. Yep, we're gonna go somewhere cool. Uh, it's the last cars and caffeine of the of the year. Um, we are taking the Jeep because it's got to be a I don't know 25 mile an hour wind and it would just be a pain in the uh, you know where to drive Bonnie because he'd be pushed all over the road and the wind would just be beating you in the ears. So yeah. we're gonna take the uh, we're gonna take the Jeep. See you when we get there. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. Our kids were here, and uh, it's very windy. We'll do our best to shield the wind from, uh, there's a huge turnout. Uh, we are not part of the turnout. We actually parked on a side street, so we're not, we're losing the street cred. That's all I'm gonna say. We're losing the street cred today. Sadness. But there's a dust storm right over there, basically, with the dirt parking lot, and I don't really want to eat dirt. Neither do I. So, anyway. We can't wait to get you over there. We'll show you in a minute. Yep, look at all the people. We walking up and down, promise. Whoop. All right, we're here. It's windy. Still. Dust devil. Yep, dust devil. Uh, we showed you the from that end. We're gonna do the walk down, and uh, we gotta go both sides. There's a dyno down there. Uh, if you hear music, it's all in your head, and um, it's a long way, so check it out, look, all the way down there, hopefully you can hear me with the wind, here we go, this is this person, alright, so we got a 35 Chevrolet, this is my good friend Mike, Hot Rod Mike, remember we did the, uh, the metalworking video with him, this car is just fantastic, I don't know, yes, it it's just the best, look at that thing, he wants to put a five, he's thinking about putting a five speed in there. I've already claimed the engine, or not the engine, the transmission. <laughs> Look at that. We're just gonna walk down. Now there is a dyno. I don't know if you can see it. See it? There's a truck up there. All right, so we got the old uh, transmission. Austin's NSX, we got Camaros, we got all sorts of fancy stuff today. There is a Super V way up there. Yes, I'll tell you what, that Super V, I might need it in my life. Anybody wants to buy anyone want to buy some hot rods? I got a couple that I'd sell for one Super V. Z06. Okay, a couple of sweet second gen Camaros. We got the tuner guys. Look at that long growth. Boom. And then look at how they got the Got a license plate and patch panel. We've shown you this guy before. Yeah, we'll see that. There's a ramp over now that's and we got a 392. I'm gonna talk to him about model A parts later today. He's got Melissa's favorite Model A. There's that Super B. There's my friend Jesse's car. That thing is sick. You guys have seen the burnouts. Now, my cousin Nick is over here. He's got something different today. I think they were sleeping or something right there. I think Clyde was parked there. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do you have today? Cadillac. That's <laughs> how we go. That's how we roll. Sometimes. Man, you're old. You want to show us the Cadillac? <laughs> Alright, this is Nick's Slayer. It's got it's got a it's a four cylinder. All polished, no problem. That's stainless. So looks like it's a 1963. So it's two years younger than you. Oh. Savage early in the day. It's 11. I'm awake now. I've had two cups of coffee. So is that still the 427? Yep, 427 small block Chevy. Uh, all little M block. One one fifty horse. Somewhere around in that range. Um, <laughs> like that thing, that hot rod. Yeah, that's uh, that's 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 a six cylinder, I think. Yeah, no, it's uh, a little more than that. You can, I think that one's cops, cops coming soon. Yeah, uh, <laughs> everybody not, watch their ride home now. Man. We're not we're not supposed to be people aren't supposed to be doing those burnout thingies. But uh, they don't think you got the memo. No. I think I can smell the burning over. Yeah, there's a little bit of rubber. <laughs> All right, so anyway, 150 horse, yeah. 40 uh, miles to the gallon. Right. Something like that. So. 40, 40 80, gallons to the feet. E85, 91 millimeter turbo, uh, 10 and a half to one compression. On e will be on E85, it's on gas right now. Mm -hmm. uh, How many horse do you figure it's going to push? Um, my target is going to be 1300 wheel. Um, should be capable of that. Everything is should be fine. So we just got a few tweaks we need to make to, to get there. But um, haven't been on dyno yet, obviously. But uh, this winter, winter, winter's plan to switch everything over to E85 and a little more uh, EFI control. But okay. you, you're not putting it on the dyno today. No, no, it's, no, it's not. It's not ready for today. No. It's still unhappy. I, I, I could do it. I just would. I just, not comfortable. Yeah, don't have enough miles. Don't have enough time in it yet. Plus, you don't want to break it. Well, that's exactly it. You don't want to break something that is. Uh, well, it's. I'm not used to turbo on gas. So usually, my turbos are on E85, and they're a little more forgiving. So, uh, so I don't need to tell them about the Bronco 2 story on the way to drill. No, no. no. I don't need to worry about that one. No. Okay. Well, it's. We'll, we'll get there. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, that's. <laughs> We should actually come over to the shop and uh, you could show your um, parts key bucket. It's close. It's still there. Still there. July 4th, 2029. Hey, we never did specify a year. It's, uh, I think it's for sale. It is for so, sale. As soon it's, as it's uh, done. <laughs> I, I can have it ready pretty quick, but uh, it is for sale. It's got a 400 small block. 400 small block, turbo 400, uh, custom chassis, coil uh, ladder and coils in the rear, suicide front, uh, a little bit red tube. Yeah, you know roaster. I think I've got a picture. I, I'll put it like. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I'll put it with those horrible wheels it had on it. Yeah, no, we got good nice steel <laughs> wheels on it. Good, it looks, it's a nice combo now. But, yeah. Uh, that that's gonna go down the road here in the next. Get ready in the next month or so to be sold, and then. Uh, You're gonna sell a roadster in the winter. See, so yeah, there's. We got trailers. We know how to haul them around the state. So not a big deal. But You're not gonna drive it? No. I don't even. I've, I got so many miles on that car that I don't even care anymore. You know what? You do have a lot of miles on that car. You've owned it what twice? Fifteen years total now. Yeah. So yeah, it's a. Uh, I've, I've had enough of that one. I'm ready for more. So you buy stuff. it back a third time? No. Yeah. Well, hopefully not. Well, hopefully we. You know what? I'll start holding my breath on you not getting it back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I don't want it back. That one's actually. I, I'm ready to move on. I'm. I'm I'm hopefully gonna get a Cobra. Uh, in the oh, here, that's so. yeah. He's he's got them deep pockets. Yeah. Well, his hands in there. Yeah, I just gotta hold my. Well, wait, for, wait for the wait for the money tree to chime in. So, 
Uh, it that, hasn't yet today. I don't. I don't see it. Yeah, it's not over there. No, it, it hasn't think <laughs> yet. Over there either. <laughs> uh, Nick's gonna try to get his car fired up, <laughs> and then we're gonna watch him leave. It's gonna be rowdy. Both of them rowdy. I can feel that in my lungs. Yeah, that's a quiet. We can't, we can't let him go without seeing that one. He's the one who helped build the trophies for Arco's car show. We had to get Nick before he left. These are some of the other cool stuff this year. We got lots of, lots of neat stuff. That car won at uh, Best in Show at the second Armory Car Show. Remember, kids, safety's no accident. This is just a slick muscle car right here. Hey, on slots. Look at this thing. Peyton, maybe I should get one of these. No. Hey, he's a Marine vet. I don't think I saw it, man. I love this car. I had a 72 Nova. Here, there's Peyton's car that she really likes right there. Maybe I should just get a truck like this. Get rid of that Jeep. Get a power frame. Hey, buddy, that's not cool. That's not dope stuff going off. Mom would, mom should probably have something that's like this one. <laughs> I'd go 38 miles an hour to the rugs. If you're wondering what the rugs means, that's the carpet picking. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's basically uh, drop Floor a gear. It. Drop a gear and disappear. <laughs> I don't think that's possible in that one. Your Mach 1. This one's mildly stock. Nope. <laughs> that dart did a, a pull. I don't know that he did one. There is that ranchero again. That thing's fantastic. Got some crazy kids running around. Just closing the That's just that's the chair. Oh, that's what the GTO is based on right there. Pontiac Tempest. Still don't understand those. Corvette. Oh, it's five, 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 eight. Oh. I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a turnout. Definitely. For cars and caffeine, the last one of the year. Ooh, look at this one. This one's fantastic. Where does this come? All right, kids, that was awesome. I want to say, Austin, you do a heck of a job with the show every, uh, every month and every year organizing it. Uh, we were more than happy to uh, contribute to the uh, sponsorship stuff this year. Um, it was awesome to see the great turnout, even though it's like 49 degrees or something with the wind chill. Yep, we have wind chill here. But. Surprising. Not really. <laughs> Anywho, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on wrenching. Have a great day. I finally remembered. First time for everything. <laughs> for the first time in forever.